It's hard for some people to explain why they prefer a Chevy over a Ford or smooth over crunchy, but whether it's cars, peanut butter, or airplanes, people know what they like. Speaking of airplanes, there's a group of fans of a certain type of airplane who make a regular pilgrimage to Tullahoma to celebrate everything Beechcraft. Here's Rob Wiles. In a room full of airplanes, a group of fans and friends gather, and the talk turns to just how they first fell in love with a particular make of airplane. Here it came up over the trees. It was a red stagger wing beach craft. And all of a sudden, I could see landing gear going up. I had never seen an airplane that had Landing. This is 1936, 37, somewhere in that era. It was one of the fascinating things that I remember in my childhood. Childhood dreams like that come to life just about every day at this museum in Tullahoma. Executive Vice President Charles Parrish says the place was started almost 50 years ago to house the snazzy stagger wing. At that time, um, it was just the stagger wing museum. That's a particular type of aircraft that Beechcraft made back in the 30s and the 40s. Mm -hmm. But now we're the Beechcraft Heritage Museum. We now in, brought in the whole lineage of the brand Beechcraft to our museum. Eventually, the name of the museum was changed to reflect the popularity of all varieties of Beechcraft. Beechcraft was the uh, top of the line. Uh, it was the, uh, compare it to a, a, a car manufacturer, but it was the, the Cadillac, if you will, of the uh, general aviation aircraft. But they also made military aircraft as well through the years. So it's a natural gathering place for lovers of the Beechcraft, but Charles says it's not just for them. We have artists that like to come do their artwork. We have photographers that don't own aircraft, don't necessarily have a pilot's license, but enjoy taking photographs of them. Uh, engineers that just like to see mechanical things work and fly and operate. Um, so it's, it, it's, it is kind of a neat thing that it, you don't have to be a pilot, you don't have to be a Beechcraft owner to uh, find yourself here and enjoy yourself here at our event. I think you get people who are just interested sort of in the history of it. All. Absolutely. I mean, I'm a history buff, uh, and uh, this is the history of Beechcraft. There really is no other place that has it all encompassed in one location like we do here at the Beechcraft Heritage Museum in Tullahoma. The museum's a pretty spectacular place to come anytime, but once a year, planes are flown here from all over. Beach lovers gathering for what they call the beach party. Like a flock of homing pigeons, the Beechcrafts arrive. After all, for Beechcraft lovers, this is the homecoming here. This is the this is the mecca that you go to when you have a staggering. It's really unique. Good to see you again. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tony Debevic flew down from Ohio for the beach party. He's in the wine business up there, so when he saw this stagger wing, it was love. It's a Merlot color, so when I saw this aircraft, I looked at a number of stagger wings, when I saw the Merlot aircraft, my wife said, buy it, so that's what we did. It's a lot of fun to fly. It, it has a, a lot of unique characteristics. Of course, it takes off very quickly, has a large engine, so it's great for grass uh, airstrips, which we fly it out of all the time at our place. And um, it climbs very well, has a, a good speed, so it's great for traveling. Traveling is what Beechcraft lovers do, particularly to the annual beach party, to see and learn from the best, who are all here to. Seminars on how to operate some of these round engines uh, that are different than most engines you see on modern uh, airplanes, uh, the radial uh, piston engines, uh, and, and how to operate them, how to maintain them. And so there's just a world of knowledge here. Uh, history, uh, maintenance, uh, safety, good airmanship, and best ways to, to, to operate them. Time to study, time to catch up with old friends and make new ones. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> so many pilots here. You know you're going to see some flying. There's a, a good group of th that come in that know how to do uh, awesome formation flying. 
and uh, everything's safe, everything's nice and high, but uh, we're a non-controlled airport here in Tullahoma, and we have the freedom to do that. So you'll see some nice, organized, orchestrated formation flying this afternoon. And uh, very well safety organized and, and well done. Well done by these talented pilots, and well done by the folks who give them a happy place for a safe landing, the Beechcraft Heritage Museum in Tullahoma.